Price elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of quantity supplied to a change in price. The formula is the percent change in quantity supplied divided by the percent change in price. I've given you a simple table here so we can do a basic calculation together. Now we're going to use a price of 100 increasing to 190 and quantity supplied going from 100 to 125 units. First we'll calculate the percent change in quantity supplied then we'll calculate the percent change in price. And the way we do both of those is we take the new value and we subtract the old value and we divide by the old value and multiply by 100%. And that's how we figure out our percent change. Working this out all the way, we should get positive 25% divided by positive 90%. And you can imagine that this value is going to be less than 1. And when we calculate it through, we should get something around positive 0.263. The two things we want to pay attention to are the fact that it's positive, which PES is pretty much always going to be because price and quantity supplied move in the same direction. The second thing we're going to take a look at is the size of the value. If it's between 0 and 1, it's inelastic. If it's greater than 1, it is elastic. If it's elastic, it means quantity supplied is very responsive to a change in price. If it's inelastic, it means that quantity supplied is not very responsive to a change in price. In a future video, we're going to interpret this to see what it means, but for now, just understand the basic definition, how to calculate it, and whether it is elastic or inelastic.